Hey everybody, I'm Diane Gale and welcome to my channel, Sustainable Slow Living. Today you and I are going to make a raspberry vinaigrette dressing together. It is exponentially better than store made and much better for you than store made. It is less expensive to make, it is easy to make, and it is really, really delicious, perfect for the summer. So let's get started. I'm going to make this dressing right in a quart jar. For me, it's the easiest way to make it because I use an immersion blender to blend it together. My immersion blender is one of my favorite tools. If you don't have one, you need one. Trust me. I put a cup and a half of frozen raspberries in here. You can use fresh raspberries. I'm not going to lie. With things the way they are, I went to the grocery store and a small container of raspberries, not even as many as I needed for the recipe, was $6.99. So I opted for the frozen raspberries. They were $2.99. Raspberry season is going to be coming up, and I'll be able to pick some soon. Hopefully you will be too. So I've got a cup and a half of raspberries in here. I have half a cup of oil. You can choose the oil that you're going to use for this. You can use any oil that you like. Remember that the oils that you use are going to kind of flavor your dressing a little bit. I like olive oil for this. I think it works perfectly, but you decide. And sometimes when you're making your own dressings, it's just about what you have in the house. And then I have a scallion, pretty decent sized scallion that I've sliced up. I have a quarter teaspoon of salt. Um, I love salt. Salt enhances flavors. So I put it in there. You cannot put it in there. If you have issues with salt, I'm really not supposed to eat it either. I eat real salt so that I get all of the nutrients and minerals from it. And I like to add it in. I have a pretty large clove of garlic. I did slice it up a little bit. The blender will chop it up a little more. I have a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Looks like I'm going to have a little trouble getting that off the spatula here. I have um, a teaspoon of fresh squeezed lemon juice. Love fresh squeezed. It is better. And I have two tablespoons of honey. And you guys, that's it. All of this is going to go in the jar. I'm going to take that immersion blender and I am going to blend it up. And you have got an amazing, amazing salad dressing. All right, you guys, there it is. This is super thick and creamy. Um, maybe too thick for some people. You can add more oil if you want to um, thin it out a little bit. I'm going to take a taste here. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfect just like that. I really do. I've made a salad to go with this today that I adore. It is, um, it is spinach. I like to get baby spinach, but I didn't buy baby spinach this time. They were out of it at the store. So it is fresh spinach leaves with uh, chopped cara cara orange, sliced almonds, sliced cucumbers, and sliced chicken breast. It is fabulous with this dressing, but you can use this dressing on any salad that you like. Try your favorites and see what you like. Um, another thing that you can do with this is use it as a marinade, and it makes a really great marinade for uh, chicken on the grill. There it is, you guys. Look at that. It's really delicious. Use it as a salad dressing. Use it as a marinade. Serve it with fish. Serve it with pork. Serve it with chicken. It is fabulous. You're going to love it. You're going to eat it all the time. I did a few dressing recipes in the early days of my doing YouTube videos, and I will link those down below for you. And right now I'm going to do a series of dressing recipes. There are 10 of them. And as they become available, 
I will link those down below for you as well so that you can check them out. They're all delicious and this is an amazing way to save money to eat better, healthier food, and um, to be sustainable. Uh, you know, and it really doesn't take very long to make your own dressing. It seriously doesn't. Once you're in the habit, it just becomes something that you do once a week and uh, you have it to marinate with, to put on uh, salads, to top vegetables with. Uh, you can use it for so many different things. It's just so much better for you. So check out all of those recipes. Um, I hope that you try every single one, but try at least a couple of them so that you can be more sustainable in your own kitchen. Thank you for joining me here today. We are going to get together again and we are going to do it really soon.